and you're online making fun of fat women and that's your job being a piece of shit bully when you could be straight out of the movie deliverance no education redneck trash dinner i guess you can say i have this sped up uh i think at 1.5 because it's like 30 minutes and i uh was in ffg's chat today and she tried to watch it and it's it's just it's horrid it's just chew say one word chew some more say one word just to get through a story so i have it sped up really fast but oh yes look at this meal this looks like a diabetic friendly meal I was going to cook, but I didn't feel like it, so tomorrow I will make whatever I was going to make. You'll have to wait and see. But for now, um, we're having sub-stop. Sub, sub, wait, sub-stop. Sub-stop. Okay. We have a red fruits iced tea, zero sugar. Steak and cheese, sub. And a meat feast, sub. Some barbecue, summer barbecue chips, hot peppers, and chocolate chip cookies. And somebody had pointed out, I forgot who it was, forgive me, that Lipton is owned by PepsiCo. Uh, who supports Israel. So way to go with your protest, Chantal. Oh, and have a few olives as well. These big purple ones. All right, bismillah. Let's get into it. What am I going to eat first? I want to eat the steak and cheese first. So let's let's go. Wait, so she steak has and cheese. two what different Italian, uh, Oregano bread, Parmesan oregano bread. Cheese, um, jalapenos, black... I've been to Subway. Um, not a lot, but it, I've been there. I have never in my life... Uh, have witnessed somebody put this much crap on a sandwich including the sauces how do you even taste what the sandwich is supposed to be with multiple sauces on it I don't even know bowl of southwest garlic mayo ranch onions lettuce jalapenos did I say that and I think that's it green pepper beauty bite for you guys stop saying that line go to there's a channel called the cooking bomb it's a chinese woman i love her channel she does um chinese recipes that's her line from her channel this bites for you she like clearly uh ripped that off chantal can't come up with their own crap she has to steal stuff from other creators mm. by the way no mic today i'm too lazy to go get it the kitchen's two feet away, mind you. Mm. So you guys are lucky. Ow. Is that, why is that painful? Kettle chips are hard. Excuse me. Uh, that's not normal behavior to be in pain eating a potato chip. Uh, are you not brushing your teeth? Yeah, because we could see by all the yellow plaque and tartar that covers your teeth. Disgusting. Ooh. Hmm, I wonder whose beef curtains those remind her of. I'm sorry, but they hurt the roof of your mouth. No, they don't. Not if you have a, a healthy gums in your in your mouth, Chantal. Pleasure with the pain. Oh. She made a face. It... Okay, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but if I have to look at my food and then take a sniff of it, uh, chances are I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> Jesus. There's roast beef on here. I don't like deli roast beef normally. We'll see. Wait, what's that one? Realize. Isn't that beef you're eating right there? What? These peppers that she's eating, I, I don't, those are not pepperoncini, not even banana pepper. I don't even know what those are. Uh, did you get a Costco sized drum of those? Because those just seem to keep appearing day after day. In the description of the sub, it doesn't say what kind of meats. It just says meat feast, a mix of meats. 
So, AKA cancer causing meats. That's what that is. Not even a piece of cookie. <laughs> I can't mix food so like soft that. And I'm one of those people that I cannot mix food. How she takes a bite of the sandwich, then the chips, then the cookie. I can't. I have to eat all of one item first before I move on to the next one. Ew. She anyway. had an orgasm with that cookie. I was just thinking like... Oh, and I know I just did a sub stop but I love this place. Mm. Look at those swollen hands. That has to be painful. That cannot be comfortable. I was just thinking how weird it is. Do you see her fingertips? Now, this is just for me dealing with my son. Uh, the redness and the purplish color in there that's that's not a good sign that means that you're not getting um healthy blood flow to your extremity chantal you should go to a cardiologist and uh get a ekg uh, done on yourself I, I mean i can't believe it like that she's just gonna go out like this but oh well now what i'm doing now is like a day at the office for me this is my coming to work oh my goodness what do you see those aggressive bites yeah it made me think sorry for the chewing of what a typical day at work was like for me work <laughs> lol i'm my most latest job latest job excuse me mm. i should say my most recent job which was what only fans i told you guys what it was i told you guys why i got let go didn't you uh you got let go i don't know there's different stories out there but you worked for a female doctor and i you said that she didn't like you or there was some situation another person in the office didn't like you and they had a meeting and i guess because you were on salary and your contract wasn't up they let you go with severance pay they wanted to get rid of you so bad chantal that they probably ac actually lost money letting you go that's how bad you were at that job but i don't think i told you what, like a typical day at work was like so a typical day i would go into the office at like i don't know Oh my god, the chewing I'm probably like seven seven three. Seven thirty. That's pretty good. When I used to work outside of the house, I used to go to I had to be at work at five o'clock in the morning and I didn't live near my job, so I had to drive to it. So yeah, seven thirty to get those extra hours in of sleep, that's a blessing, Chantal. Most people are not that lucky. Which I really, really, really hated. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> I'm not a day person. Because you have no work ethic. But especially not seven. But I was an admin assistant. I was a secretary for a group of doctors, for three Bullshit. doctors, but specifically for one in particular. She was probably like a girl Friday. I don't know if any of uh, you younger people might know what that is. It's like somebody who fetches coffee and and donuts from the break room. That's what Chantal was. And uh, she has no administration okay, skills whatsoever. So I worked in a hospital. Disgusting. Licking those filthy, filthy poop fingers. A mental health facility? Hospital? Wasn't it the mental health facility that you were in, Chantal? Isn't that where 
you ended up getting a job. And, you were um, a client of theirs. There was always morning traffic. Well, there Especially is traffic in the morning. <laughs> around that time. Try some uh, traffic in West Los Angeles. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be like that scene from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles when he turns into a skeleton. So for my commute, I used to listen to a morning show on the radio. If I had time, I would get a coffee. Sometimes breakfast. Can you imagine? But usually, okay. she's that type knowing that she's running late for work that she would go and get that coffee and that and go to a separate place to get the breakfast and then stroll in like a half an hour late and act like oh what's wrong she's that type and i would park my car in the parking lot really that's astonishing then i had to walk around to the front of the building are you serious Oh, so they didn't trust you enough to give you uh, the code to get into the back of the building. <laughs> Sometimes I would see. So I I'm guessing because I worked in a facility, uh, they didn't trust her with the code. So she had to walk to the front of the building where there's a night. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, a secretary, what you want to call them, security, whatever where you have to be buzzed in so they didn't trust her enough with the code that says a lot another secretary that worked there and she wasn't liked by any of the other secretaries sure because she was not like them uh, are she you talking like about yourself head, you know that's not that you that's you Chantal so I would see her out front usually smoking but I smoked back then you still smoke now. So I would have a smoke with her and we would shake off the other side. That's a great pick of it. From Let's Thailand. Try this. Disgusting. Look at that face. Mm. That's good. No, it's just lettuce, disgusting. tomato, pickles, black olives, olive oil, vinegar, southwest sauce. Disgusting. You know what I had today? I had a bowl of wonton soup and two Twizzlers. I'm stuffed. I think onion soup. Ooh. Anyway. And then some of the patients would talk to us because they didn't have another designated smoking area. We had to smoke with the patients. Oh, can you... Can you imagine this crazy one that was already a patient there, now working there, and co-mingling with the patients there? Can you imagine? Oh, is that where the story from the uh, sexcapade on the rock came from? I think there was a story about that where she had a sexcapade with one of the patients there whilst working there. It wasn't a homeless guy, it was a patient. Oh, the seeds. I'm spicy. So then, we would go upstairs. Chantal, sorry to pause again. She's one of those types of chicks. Can you imagine if she worked in a jail, a, a male, a men's prison? She would have a relationship and break a dude out of prison. She's one of those chicks. All day when you were was there any off escapes the, the during the time Cold she white. was there? Current patient north, blah, blah, blah. Code white was psychiatric emergency. Code blue was like medical, I think. Code red is fire. What's code silver? You know that one? So they had a little tuck shop. Not a tuck shop, like a little coffee stand thing run by volunteers. <laughs> mm. Isn't is this the same thing that you said that your grandmother ran? 
and you hung out with her, uh, a talk shop, but I equate it to a chop shop, but a talk shop. I remember you saying that in a few uh, videos before this one. Interesting. Never heard this before in all the years of watching her. Now, all of a sudden. And uh, I would get like a, a coffee. I always got a Colombian and a big muffin. I'm sure you did. Oh my gosh. Plus, plus the five egg McMuffins you got on the way there. <sighs> Too many peppers. <laughs> I would make my way to my office. Uh, why is she telling us this? Did you, Chantal, can you tell me how many steps was it from the car to the front of the building? And can you explain um, the outfits that you wore every day to the office? This, I mean, what are you talking about, Chantal? This is stupid. You obviously have nothing to talk about. And I was so proud because I had my own office and outside of the door, there was a metal plaque sign that said Chantal Stato. Pig. Feeder. Mm. She probably had her own office because it was for the sanity of the other people in the office because they wanted to keep her as far away from the clientele and the people that work there. That's what I wanted. I worked in mental health because my mental health was at the time. <laughs> but so were many of the secretaries. And actually, one of the secretaries uh, was a patient there a couple of times. That was you. That was you, Chantal. Are you forgetting? I hope somebody um, has that. I got to look and see if I have it uh, where you explained how you got the job there because you were a patient there. So. <sighs> Does Sala and his family know how crazy you actually are and this isn't me um trying to defame you or anything there's actually a mental health documented history of you within the canadian healthcare system does his family know about this hmm i would go to my office sit at my desk and stare at the wall. First thing I would do is check my emails, which I always had a ton of emails. Open up the doctor's calendar for the day. Get her patient charts ready. Sometimes I had to book. So I'd reply to emails because I get emails from different departments. Um, Sorry about the chewing. I would have to gather all her billing, submit it to finance. If there was a meeting, I would have to take a laptop, take minutes. I seriously doubt she did all this. Like, literally, uh, this is some scenes from the movie Working Girl. There's no way... Uh, that Chantal has any type of secretarial or administrative uh, experience at all. Give me a break. What movie did you steal this from? Oh, 
Oh my goodness. So the busy. screenshots that are gonna come from this. Um, set up teleconference. Order catering for me. And she said at the beginning of this, she kind of slipped and said assistant or whatever. There's no way that some type of uh, low on the totem pole assistant in that type of office would be in charge of finance and things like that. There's no way. And I'm saying this as a person that worked this type of job. I usually went with Epicuria in Ottawa. I think that's the name of it. That was yummy. So it just depended. I'm telling you right now, if you have not watched the movie uh, Working Girl, it has Harrison Ford and Melanie Griffith in it. I love the movie. It's really good. Chantal is literally stealing scenes from that movie. What day of the week? But we usually had a team meeting in the mornings to discuss um, what beds were available, when beds were coming available for the inpatient section. Because it was always a crisis for to have beds. And, I, and not as far as work, the, the movie uh, comment that I made, not as far as working in the mental health facility, but as far as like taking notes from the boss, uh, as far as the catering, uh, things like that. She's stealing aspects of the scenes from that movie. That's what I was referring to. People waiting, overcrowding hospitals because they, they needed to be transferred to our hospital, but there's no room. What's the point of this story? I have no idea. So mostly, the patients would come. I would, you know, get them checked in the system. Um, There's no way she's doing all of this. No way. I think the system was called Meditech, if I, if I remember. So Chantal is paying, doing the finance for the doctor. She's checking patients in and out she's doing the catering she's doing the intake of patients uh when they come from another hospital you really believe she's doing all this 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 person this person that can't walk two feet to her kitchen to get some bullshit get out um and then i had another part of my job that was i found a bit difficult like <laughs> i was program administrator for like the student, like the intern doctors, the student doctors in like their last year. Oh, bullshit. I don't remember exactly what I had to do. Because you didn't do that. But I had to keep track of, like I had to do admin work for them. And I had a system they used through the University of Ottawa in the Department of Medicine. So I had to keep track of like I think hours that they did with the doctors that they were shadowing on our, in our department and stuff like that. Bullshit. There's no way in hell she's doing all this. They have sep a separate person for that. She's so full of crap. I mean, if anybody believes these lies, you are seriously disturbed. So I had to use like a system that was through the University of Ottawa. I remember it being like a, a, a tough learning curve. I'm not part of it. Why, because you didn't understand the script? You're so full of crap. The four-hour unit, I wasn't the program administrator. Um, they hired someone new for that. And her, they wanted me, as a secretary level three, to do the annual report. I knew nothing about the department. And This is bullshit. Like, I can't believe they it. They wanted me to do, like, her and I to do, like, pie charts with statistics, and I'm just like what the heck like did i lie on my resume or something <laughs> so unbelievable i actually like did say that i knew how to use excel 
And the thing is, before this job, I never used Excel. But I had to be tested on Excel before I got the job, and I just managed to just... So I, I, that's another thing. How, how, are you, that's, how do you stay that long in that type of job, and you don't know how to use Excel? Make that make sense. Use common sense, and it, I just managed no to figure way. it out. I don't know. <laughs> like, I passed. She doesn't know how to use Excel, but she's doing finance she's doing the doctor's calendar with patients intake whatnot and she doesn't know how to use excel okay um i think i watched like a 10 minute tutorial video and then i was able to do it oh, and then i didn't have to use excel like every day um so yeah the doctor would go on like vacation like not vacations but like work business trips all the time so she would give me her flight like i had to book flights for her for that type of job you have to be sort of an expert uh, at that program. Uh, it's You can't just watch a 10-minute video and then, cool beans, I could do the job. She's a liar. She would give me the receipts and I had to send them to finance for billing. Problem was, I had big shoes to fill because the reason they were looking for a new secretary for this doctor. No, you don't have big shoes to fill. You actually wear shoes that are too big. Uh, there's video proof of it. I think actually, uh, maybe the airport police should pay attention to you because I think this is a speculation on my part, uh, that you could be some sort of a mule with those big shoes. There's a lot of room in those shoes when you're going to Thailand and places like that to stuff some party favors in there. I don't know. Maybe the airport police should uh, pay attention to you. Her personal secretary, which is the position I was filling had just retired after 25 years of working with her. She knew everything the doctor liked. She had knew the job very well. When you're working with someone for 25 years, you know, and her and I just didn't get along very well. You so, don't get along with anyone. Um, I think she just expected too much of me. Um, right off the bat, she didn't seem to like me. I don't know why. And so I thought, okay, you know. Because if you're going into a job and, and you're replacing somebody that's been there for, for uh 25 years they know the job they know what the doctor likes they know what the doctor expects of you and obviously since uh you like to do what you want to do and you want to do it your way i'm not surprised you didn't get along with the woman uh with 25 years experience i tried my best but eventually it began to wear on my mental health even more to where I, it wasn't even oh, my mental health i would call in sick a lot so yada yada because you're lazy so anyway it ended up being bad I ended up getting canned. That's some bullshit. It wore on your mental health. Why? Because you didn't want to do the job correctly. You didn't want to follow. You didn't. You did not want to follow the rules. You're a joke. But um, it was like wrongful canning, so I ended up getting a settlement, pretty decent settlement, and unemployment. So, and then that's when I decided to try YouTube out. Because uh, you were probably at uh, working under a, a set salary. And they wanted to let you go and it was cheaper or not. I, I don't want to say cheaper. They probably lost money, but it was easier to pay you and lose money than to keep you air, there to cause more problems. So don't think like you got the one up on the doctor's office. They literally got the one up on you. I didn't even expect to make any money just for fun, I guess. I wanted to do makeup. Well, and uh, I thought you started as a mukbang. Um, didn't she just say in a video a few videos ago that she started as a mukbang channel? I don't know. I thought that's what she said. Now she's a makeup channel. Are you going to include your horrible smule recordings as well? Uh, trying to be a singer on there? A singing channel? You know, I had to sign a paper that I wasn't allowed to talk to the media about what, what, what happened. But they basically, oh my in my dismissal God. paper, said that I was like, oh, because I was leaving. Okay. Now we're going to be on the hunt for this story. The media, the media, y'all, an interview. Get the fuck out. Work early, which is total bullcrap because I always, I was, I was salaried. So I worked late. Is this literally? <laughs> the media, is she like the baby reindeer, baby buffalo? Like the media, unbelievable so now everybody's going to be searching out these uh media stories i wonder what the story was if you got canned at a job and the story made it to the media what happened were you like a nurse ratchet did you like act somebody in the psych ward chantal 
every day almost because I was having trouble keeping up with some of the emails and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, it's quiet. There's not anyone that's going to bother me with more work today. I can stay a bit later and finish them. And they just, they lied. They completely lied. I can sure. understand if they were like, it's not a good fit. Um, you're not able to do certain tasks like that annual report, stuff like that. Um, or if I was calling in sick too much, but like to say that I was leaving early is just complete BS, you know? So I, I, I a hundred percent believe the medical facility that you were probably arriving late and leaving early. And it's probably, it's probably can be verified because I'm sure you had to clock in. So all of this would be on your record. So yeah. Yeah. It was unionized. So that, I'm so happy it was unionized because the union was the one who, who fought for me to get a settlement because they were like, you know, um, I don't know. It was just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And unions are not made for pigs like you. They're made for people that actually work and do their jobs. And they're, they are supposed to be used uh, to protect people um, in the cases of, you know, some type of harassment or wrongful firing, whatever the case may be. Not idiots like you. It was and I'm sure you probably didn't pay dues to the union. It was a decent job. It paid very well. I was making like... $29 an hour when I left around that it came out to like 29 an hour something like that but it was like per year because it was salaried I, I think it, it was I don't even know anyway uh doo-doo or excuse me not do I have fucking doo-doo on the brain because of the fucking beef sandwich uh dum dum if you got a settlement like you said you did yeah you were at salary I it just, I remember I ended up working late and not even, you know, being able to claim the extra hours. It's just what people did. Sometimes you work late, blah, 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 you know. So it was just exhausting. You, yes, usually when you were at a set salary job, any type of overtime you usually work, that's not like included, like you're going to get extra pay. It doesn't work that way. You might get a bonus at the end of the year, depending on what type of job or where you work at. But yeah, it's not like uh, a nine to five where you get, uh, you know, time and a half when you're overtime. That was a promotion. Like I got promoted up from um, the temporary job I was in. I was filling a maternity position in another department, like schizophrenia department. And um, the time was coming close where the girl was coming back. So I started looking at internal postings. Right. And that came up. And I was bilingual because the doctor was very French. No, so they liked not. that I was bilingual. And Fraud. so I talked to the doctor in pure French, you know, and I never talked to her in English, really. Um, Lies. I guess I just, you know, she didn't think I was good enough. I know that's the real reason. We just didn't get along. And we, we, we butted heads a lot. So, yeah, that's part of my life. It's funny how Chantal always has a problem with uh, females in her life. I wonder why that is. I thought I'd tell you about that's more recent than my childhood. I mean, after that, I started YouTube and I told you guys so many things about my life, so many story times. Then I started doing lives and showing you my life day to day, being very open about everything. And now I guard some of my privacy. <laughs> I'm still pretty open about a lot of things, and I have been. I never learn. Anyway, except I guess that's for it. your marriage that was certificate. So good. Yeah, I was so hungry. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. That's all I have to talk about, and I have nothing else to eat. I don't even, I feel satisfied, but not stuffed. I'm, I'm definitely a bottomless wow. pit. I gotta watch for that. <sighs> I don't know how sub, Substock gets away with being pretty much an exact replica of Subway without like... Because if you look up Substop, it actually was Subway. There was like a whole lawsuit, a whole ordeal about that place. It's freaking Subway. They just changed the name. How is it legal? <laughs> because there's steak and cheese. Like, the ingredients are the same, but it's just not, has nothing to do with Subway. I don't remember the story, but anyway. Uh, all right, guys. I guess that's it for now. I had too many olives. I love olive. yeah, olives. Yeah, too family. many olives Mary is olive. the problem. All right, guys. Thanks for having dinner with me. I hope it made you hungry. I hope you had something good to eat. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <sighs> that was a hot mess. That entire tale of the medical office was a complete lie um she's not including the fact that she was also a patient there at that facility i'm sure somebody has the video of that where she says that i'm gonna look and see if i have it i don't know because uh, many of us do have a lot of footage in the archives so um i would like to give a shout out though to mr snowflake that was a fabulous uh documentary that you did 
that you put out today. I love how you are keeping the timeline correct and showing how everything happened in real time. Fabulous job. But that's it for me, guys. So I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Moving, moving.